I have just applied this face mask, which I got in an advent calendar. It's from 111 Skin, which is a fancy Harley Street London kind of aesthetics clinic, aestheticians. Um, yeah, so a little jump scare warning. Ah, so it smells really, really good. I'm gonna say it smells like perfume and it's meant to kind of be like anti-aging, brightening and protective. Um, and it definitely obviously is like a higher quality mask. I'm trying not to speak, you know, move my mouth too much because I just don't want to dislodge the face mask. But yeah, it's one of those like thicker kind of silicone-y, um, thicker sheet mask. It's not a paper mask, so it's definitely higher quality. And yeah, it smells good. I'm not feeling any kind of irritation, so I think it's gonna be good for my skin. And yeah, you leave it on for about 20 minutes. Um, I've got this cute headband on that I bought at Debenhams on sale. And uh, yeah, let's see how my skin looks. There'll be a little bit of essence left over as well for me to apply after. Looking a little weird, but that's how sheet masks always look. They never look quite normal, but yeah, I'm going out later. So hopefully this is good for my skin. Going out tomorrow to the Disney exhibits, the Disney 100. And I have these Primark nails. I don't think you can see on the packaging, but they are from Primark called Head in the Clouds Dreamer. And then you can see they've got these Okay, the zoom isn't very good on my phone right now, but um, yeah, they have these really cute cloud and sparkle designs and the pink and purple. And also, I think there are some clear nails in there as well. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to file them down and press them on and every well, when I say press them on, I should say glue them on. So very, very cute. I thought of these as soon as I thought, what am I going to wear to the exhibit and to go out tomorrow? This came to mind. So that's perfect. And then here are two other products that I always use. And I say I always use because they're just what I have right now. But they're decent. They're pretty good. So I've got a non-toxic top. I think it's a base coat, but it's also a um, top coat. So I think it's kind of like a two-in-one from Karma Hughes. So it's a very much like, I believe, cruelty-free, possibly vegan, but also definitely... What was it called? Like toxins free and um, none of those chemicals that are really harmful for your nails. And then here I've just got a nail glue I found on Amazon. I went by highest rated and it's one of those ones where you apply it with this little applicator brush. But yeah, just these three things. And then I'm going to get a nail file and just make sure that they fit perfectly. I'm leaving the DLR. I'm going to Excel, which is in East London, I'm going to the Disney exhibit. <laughs> clip as I didn't have time in the morning I'm always so focused on getting ready and getting to places on time um I didn't yeah factor in time for an outfit of the day which will be the clip right after this so you can skip this if you don't want to hear my thoughts and little updates and you'd rather just see my outfit of the day um I am still wearing the jumper and yeah I obviously I'm at home I've taken my coat off I'll put it back on to do the outfit of the day clip and it was a pretty simple thing but the coat is amazing so you guys want to stay tuned to see that just a quick overview and also of my nails, which I think was one of the previous clips. Love them. Very cute, like, um, kind of like Y2K anime kind of vibes. They are Primark press-on nails, which I showed you guys. And they're not obviously high quality, but they're good. And from afar, they look amazing. And they've got some glitter and clouds. And I just thought for Disney to go see the Disney exhibit, this was the perfect thing. I think I will have already put some clips in of the Disney exhibit. Maybe a few extras on screen that I filmed just for Instagram here. But you will have seen quite a few clips uh, throughout the exhibit. So it's in a really large exhibition center. So I did obviously anticipate there'd be loads of rooms and loads of different areas, which obviously 
Well, I don't want to say obviously, but I understand that they cannot reference every single thing or every single thing about Disneyland. I was a little disappointed. There was nothing really about Haunted Mansion. I was hoping to have a little area dedicated to that or even just like a whole room um, because they've done a film. They've, you know, had multiple parks with different versions. So, yeah, but no, I get it. Like maybe Anaheim or in the North America version of the exhibit, they have other things. And that would be good because we have things they won't have seen and there'll be new things if someone's traveling to both. You'll get to see a different range, so it makes sense. But they had tons of artifacts and items and the introduction video was lovely. I think they even had like an AI Walt Disney, which was very cool. Um, I think the theming was done very well. It wasn't, you know, the most groundbreaking thing. I was hoping for a few more like photo ops and kind of more cooler, immersive aesthetic things, but there was still a decent amount. And it's very much obviously geared to families and kids. That's the main demographic. But me as a Disney adult, I still had a great time. There was a cute photo op I got uh, with the fairy godmother from Cinderella, which was nice. And yeah, no, the theming was still really great. I think it was well thought out. They kind of designed each area to the film and character that it was referencing. So I thought it was done very well. And at the end, I don't know how much I filmed, but there it was very busy as well, by the way. There was a really lovely kind of recreation of Main Street USA, which is like the main area by the Disney, um, the Disney castle in each park, which was very lovely. So yeah, I thought the theming was good overall. It was worth the money. You've got a lot to do there. Um, it's almost like a half day out, you know, a whole afternoon out with your kids, your family, your friends, whoever. I went with another friend and yeah, we went, this is a Friday afternoon, by the way. So it was busy. Maybe if you go like early during the week, it will be less busy and especially on weekends, I think it's gonna be rammed, but it, it was really lovely. Um, I would say there was anything that disappointed me. We didn't wait at all, there were no queues. We got in there, it was a little warm and then cooler towards the end. So I just took my coat off for that. But yeah, other than crowds being there, which you can't help, it's just people all you know attending at the same time. Really great, loved it. If you're a Disney fan and you can get to London or in North America, which they said the exhibit is going to tour around for five years. So you don't need to go now. I think it's going to last quite a while. So yeah, it was good value. I think it was maybe 25 pounds, between 25 to 30 pounds for a ticket. So it's like a big kind of event day out. Um, it's not super cheap, but it is worth it if you like Disney, like I said. And yeah, what else is there to say? Um, it was very cute to see all the like Disney characters and um was it like fairy tale references, Snow White, Cinderella, all the classics, some of my absolute favorites, Peter Pan. Oh, there was some really cute Disneyland references as well. So I loved that. And then I had some really nice memories from Disney with my parents and friends and family and just experiences I've had where, yeah, it was just nice to remember that and reminisce and kind of get all the nostalgic references. And that makes me definitely want to book in a Disneyland trip soon. And yeah, now I think I'll go into the outfit of the day. So I referenced uh, on, I think, one of my previous fashion vlogs here on my channel, but it's really, this coat is really giving Kylie Jenner 2019 Met Gala where she wore that crazy, what was it, like camp vibes Versace outfit. Um, that's what it reminds me of, but I love it. It's the exact kind of coat I was looking for. I definitely manifested it. Um, I found it on sale and it's the exact kind of color and design that I was looking for. So I'm really happy to have found it. It's from Forever New, which I bought on ASOS. Then I'm wearing a very old um, kind of, it's actually quite a tight fitting long sleeve jumper so I've managed to tuck it into high-waisted jeans but it's a very old jumper from Primark which every shop and every high street brand is going to sell this style but I think the pink and um well peach and purple fit together really nicely especially for like the day out at D Disney vibes I was um going for and yeah then these you guys know these I wear them way too much but it's my new look high-waisted tall jeans I don't know which style they are but they're like a light wash high-waisted um full length jean and uh yeah they are from new look and my bag is also new look which I use this a lot but just because it's my smallest bag but also it fits everything and always fits my umbrella which I wanted to bring with me today just in case so yeah otherwise I probably would have picked gone for a different bag because I also overuse this one 
and yeah i think that's the fit and then i also wore black trainers and one more update about my skin i will say uh, my makeup did not sit nicely it looks good now luckily and it didn't go crazy well oh, i don't think that zoomed in properly but um i don't think it applied properly and yeah luckily it didn't kind of smudge at all when i was out because i was worried like it might start flaking off but the face mask mixed in with my spf was just a terrible consistency really bad texture so if you're doing a sheet mask my tip would probably be wait um for the evening do it in the evening when you're you know going to bed let the serum sink in then because under makeup it was just so bad but luckily i made it work so yeah that is my update for today I am at Kew Gardens right now. I, I did my hair a little differently. You guys should be proud of me. I tried something a little different. It was still pretty easy. I just clipped the bow in onto a big ponytail with loads of hairspray. So it's not anything crazy, but it does look very cute, especially from the back. Um, and yeah, did much my makeup more than usual. Have on a cute outfit, which I'll do my outfit of the day a little bit later. And we're gonna walk around. Of course, I've planned out content. Um, I've come here mainly during the day, during the week, just to get some content done. And obviously it's a nice afternoon healthy walk as well luckily the weather's really nice and uh yeah i mean you're not gonna be able to see that much right now might put in a few more clips but i think i've shown it in previous vlogs as well and yeah so we are heading kind of on our way back now and i have sunglasses on which i had just for content but also luckily it's actually nice and sunny so it's kind of warm what do you and yeah behind me that's the orangery it's like a cafe and restaurant i don't know what it used to be maybe like a um not not good not green yeah like a greenhouse that's what i was thinking but um yeah i've also changed to red lips um just to get a bit of variety in the content and yeah just to look a little different for different photos and videos but it also fits really nicely with like my black and white um color scheme so yeah i love coming here it was a nice refreshing morning afternoon a little hectic and stressful i'm not gonna lie because when i want content and i have ideas and i'm like i need to get this done then i do get stressed out but no it was still really fun and enjoyable and i got really nice photos and videos um and i will do an outfit of the day like i said when i get home and uh, yeah we're gonna do one more area walk around a little bit and then go back so i'm back home now and doing a little outfit of the day dressed up quite smartly today i was very much inspired by some content i saw yesterday and just this yeah just from the event that i um attended which was the pioneers of longevity which was a pr event i guess you could say i was invited so i will say that i was they did reach out to me and um, yeah, a marketing team sent me tickets very kindly. So that was really fun and different and yeah, a lot of inspiration and it just yeah, made me think about my lifestyle, the way I live my life and like positive improvements I can make. Um, it was mainly about health and wellness, but yeah, just overall I started thinking and I was looking at content uh, on TikTok and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to dress up when I go out tomorrow which is today um, a little more fancy a little more put together and kind of in the style that I always see and I want to emulate and kind of make my own version of so yeah went a little bit fancy today even though it was just an afternoon trip to Kew Gardens so first is the piece de resistance of um, the outfit which is this bejeweled uh, Prada bag and then the rest of my pieces are either quite old or well, yeah old like that i've got them a couple years ago or vintage so the jumper it's as you can see like a long sleeved white kind of knitted jumpers from primark a few years ago this jacket is well blazer it's a double breasted blazer i believe and buttoned up it does look a little bit more fitted it's from zara and then the skirt which you can't see a lot of but it's kind of got these pleats and it's kind of a mini skirt as well is a vintage i'm not sure the brand it does have a label but i got it at a vintage market in brick lane which is awesome i love finding pieces like that and then my hair is something a little more special which i think i mentioned and i literally did it in like five minutes so i'm very proud of myself that it actually came out quite put together looking very cute and i figured out how to use bows in my hair because i bought quite a lot i love that style i love that trend but i just never really yeah figured out how to style it how to make it look really put together but it's actually pretty simple and yeah i just literally clipped it into the ponytail so it is a kind of black velvet bow not sure if it's oh not sure if the camera was 
showing it properly and yeah my hair is not perfect but it's relatively put together i like how it um looked with my outfit as well and then black tights and some black chelsea boots so yeah very much like a monochrome outfit with a pink bag as well and then my red lips which i mentioned when we were in kew gardens and that was it we just walked around a little bit um i did look in the gift shop on my way out and we were just walking around a bit you know taking in the scene sights i guess and yeah it was mainly the same things we've seen before nothing new nothing special yet for me as well as well i've just been so many times and i probably featured kew gardens in other vlogs so i didn't want to just keep repeating it um yeah but it is very very beautiful i will say i'm very grateful and lucky to be able to go there quite regularly just need to take a bit of public transport to get there i mean i don't actually obviously live in the area those people are very lucky um but yeah i did have to get a train and a bus so yeah it was a fun day out now i'm gonna get some work done film a video go through my content and start prepping it so i don't normally do any kind of like cooking segments i don't think i should call it a segment but you know what i mean i don't usually do any like cooking content but i have makeup on i look somewhat presentable at home so i thought you know what let me update you guys i'm doing a little bit of like a health kick in terms of just eating a little bit healthier because i'm already vegan and i think i'm burning the oil okay so i'm making my lunch it's a late lunch and uh yeah this is the top i just showed you guys by the way and i've just changed into sweatpants joggers um i got this in lidl the other day it's mediterranean tempeh so it's kind of just like seasoned tempeh and then i found a really cool recipe which is very very simple it's just beetroot kale um a dressing which i'm going to make a bit of a dressing as well with the tempeh so i'm going to fry that now because it does say best results fried obviously like if it was raw that would be healthy and that's what i learned at the event but this is it's better than nothing i'm getting you know some good vegan protein and let me open this packet it's just healthy you know um and it's going to be really filling because it's got quite a lot of protein as well and yeah then i've got some cooked beetroot i don't know if i said that but that is going in as well and then just kind of mixing it all in together and normally i would make it with roasted chickpeas but this is actually really good so i'm gonna eat that make a really big bowl I've got this really cute one, which I think I got at Dunelm a couple years ago, but yeah, big white salad bowl. Um, I'm just going to eat a really large portion of that, mix it all in together, and I'm going to watch The Boys, which is a show I started on Amazon Prime. So the bowl is a little messy, but here is, because I'm just mixing, <clears throat> oh, my throat, sorry. I was just mixing all the ingredients together, but it does look good. And yeah, I've got the dressing all in there the beetroot which I just sliced and then the fried tempeh